it just disappeared. I gotta fix it. <laughs> <laughs> What's happening? <laughs> oh, Not no. that. Hey, uh, See, the green... you're disappearing. The coronavirus <laughs> is taking you away. It did. It got my. It got my. Uh, got my hat from me. <laughs> oh dang, man! Hang on. Hang on. I got. I got at least come back. Uh, all right, we'll have a streak on the floor there. Well, that's there cool. Oh man. All right, cool. Um, man, you know my uh my man, I don't like that fuzziness, man. That's killing me, dude. But um, the uh uh my my LinkedIn channel got zapped, man. I don't know if somebody like hacked it and they crushed it, but uh, their support they never even called me back. I'm sitting here thinking, man, I used to kick, you know, like beat myself to death trying to do the best support in the world, and uh, you got companies like. LinkedIn, they don't even care. Or you got Stripe. Well, but, yeah, but you got to consider too now, man. A lot of those people are trying to work remote. So that it was the first time in history that, you know, not that, you know, they can. Yeah, this was four saying, months ago, man. This is your I first get it. Christmas. I got it. Oh, I got it. Yeah. Uh, hang on. My, was, my hash it, is not going to come back, is it? No. Oh, dude, that makes you like, that's just sick. <laughs> the, oh, oh sit on a green screen. Hey, how you doing? Oh, man. Hang on. Here we go. Hang on a second. Hang on. Oh, dude, I can't get this thing to fix. So we'll, we'll just, we got to fix it real quick. I'm sure everybody understands. Um, let's go to the, this one. <laughs> no, they, they, that's a perfect, that's a perfect one for me where I come from. <laughs> yeah. There you go. Uh, Ooh, I like that one. Yeah, that's, that's it. That's, that's the name of the show. Uh, engage. Nothing happens until you do. And, uh, you know, s such as life, you know. All right. So we'll, we'll, that's what we'll use right now. All right. Cool. Let's uh, let's get over here to, to where we're at and uh, we get some uh, get some viewers on, get some action going. Uh, what's up? Where's the caddy? I can put the caddy on there. Don't, don't let me go back in there. I'll lose my hat again. <laughs> um, I wanted to do it where I was like down at the bottom of the screen, you know, and uh, like some of those guys do. I think that would be kind of cool. But I do have my. Uh, Single mom's Goran's Las Vegas hat. Can y'all see that? There you go. Yeah, yeah. Cap captain of the ship here. Um, this uh man, I think I'm gonna knock this green screen down. Y'all just gonna see my whole world fall down behind me. <laughs> um, what's up, Randy? Good to see you, man. Uh who who had fun trading today? Did you, did you do anything wild, Randy? I, I'm such a perfectionist. I'm going to kill myself over this, but whatever. Yeah. <laughs> it's going to drive me crazy. It's going to drive me crazy. We'll just make it small. That way it don't matter. What's happening? Um, how's everybody doing tonight? Every, everybody's, uh, everybody's, you know, social distancing. And so everybody's uh, going live and stuff on these, uh, on these streamers. I, I, it's a little technical for me, but Hey, it's it, no different than the, uh, doing a radio show, which I did all last year. Well, you have a face for radio, brother. Um, I do. I, that's what that's what I tell everybody. I got a face for radio, man. Yeah. Yeah. There you go. <laughs> um, I, I was talking with a buddy of mine. We're doing a project, and he goes, "Man, do you know who could voice that over that?" And I'm like, "No, no, I sure don't." <laughs> <laughs> I voiced over everybody, man. They, even bands. I, I did. Uh, uh, ah, I forgot the band, but whatever. I emceed them. They were big in the '90s. Whoever it was, Cedar or something, either or something like that. But yeah, even bands, man. I, did the rock doc the original rock doc he's mm. i did all his voiceover stuff and i also did a bunch of characters but people don't know that that, that was me <laughs> uh um so who do we got here hey sloop what's up girl that's right vegas hey mike good to see you man hey uh so we're, we're going to talk about a few things tonight we're just going to try and bring some value i mean we got hammers on on the uh on the uh on the on the stream here i can see already um Check this out, uh, Tim. So this thing, uh, we'll do, uh, see this here? You can run like a scrolling deal, right? Or if somebody comments, um, you can show their comment. It'll pop up, which is kind of cool, right? But um, here's uh, here's what I'm thinking. Anybody want to see what I did on a, a mobile phone app? I put like two grand in this account um, about... Uh, I don't even have it saved in here. I was going to show you. I, I came up. I almost doubled up today in the stock market. It was awesome. It was awesome. That's awesome. Yeah, and, and you know what I was. Uh, you know what I was trading? Chewy. That that uh, the, the internet of, uh, dog food delivery. Mm -hmm. Did you know people will actually uh, people will uh, hoard dog food for they'll hoard food for themselves. Yeah. Yeah. 
Hey, I'll tell you what, a bunch of the farmers around where I live, they had a thing today. They're talking about uh, in Michigan, they shut down all the feed stores. Yeah. Right. People are literally having to come out of Michigan to come to Indiana and get feed for their animals. Oh, my gosh. So what did they just shut them down? Because like the, the, the corporate. Oh, yes. Yeah. That's, that's all I can assume. I don't know. But it's creating a lot of havoc. So yeah. Now all the Michigan people that have animals, you know, obviously they need to be fed. Yeah. They're literally sending stuff. I'm like, oh, Lord. Yeah. Jeez. Right. That's they crazy. had people literally uh, at the White House, at the uh, Michigan White House or whatever it is up there, the Capitol, up there just protesting like like nobody's business. Yeah, especially in Michigan. That's that's a, that's pretty much a farm state. Well, man, and, and uh, in Michigan, hey, Bradley, what's going on, buddy? Long time no see, man. Um, uh, up, upstate, I had a, a buddy that ran a bunch of dealerships in the UP up there for a while and he just came back to georgia but still but uh it, it's like uh you know once you get out of new york city that's country as it gets man they don't yeah. even have exits like they, they have hey tammy good to see you you're doing awesome i love i love watching what you're you're doing it makes me excited uh if you want you maybe we'll bring you on live you can tell us about it we got tim johnson with us i met tim on the marketer cruise um what 2016 15 uh, well, probably longer than that Probably, yeah. I don't know, when's the first time you went on? I've been on it since, yeah, probably that about that. That's about right. Probably yeah. 2012, yeah. We just met in the hallway, met in the hallway on the way back from the casino or whatever we were doing and, and talked for about two hours, like nobody was sleeping in there. And then and then Tim had to go in his little uh, interstate room and, and basically take a shower. It was like a little boy with asthma spitting water through a straw. Pretty much. Yeah, is that how it works? <laughs> <laughs> Dude, so, people are like why do you why do you get the sweets i'm like because i need to exfoliate man i can't just drip dry you know what i'm saying that's all i've ever got i don't have a, I always had sweets that's right Dude, th those th those interior rooms are like this man i i went on a three-day cruise i took my mom one time dude i mean big boy just don't if that if that shower curtain touches me i'm out i'm out Dude, it's coronavirus it. times 10. give is me that, her that what it is? don't let me touch a damn oh, oh, shower curtain Oh, so, um, uh, how many, uh, so, um, who, uh, uh, I was going to go over some stuff. I, I, I thought we were going to get some people other than marketers that we were going to, I did a radio show in, uh, at 93.1, uh, last year we did it. And we talked about like ways to get, uh, you know, to, to get promoted at work or ways to get jobs, to get hired. Um, anybody got a nephew or a, or a niece that just can't get hired. I can, uh, I can put you on the money. I can get you a call back immediately. If, if, uh, if you need help, I'll tell you the secret to getting promoted too. So, um, yeah, call said Michaels. What? No, it's the way it's, dude, we're, we're, we're somewhat dominant directors, right? I'm more of a socializer, but I got a little bit of dominant director in me from running being management. Like the, the secret to being liked by your boss straight up. This is the whole secret. You, you, you never go to him with a problem and then it's shut up. Like all you are is bringing problems to him, right? You go to him with a problem. And you follow it with a solution, and and oh, a dollar director okay. just do it. You know, they just want it handled. They don't want to, they don't have to deal with the the muck muck. You know what I'm saying? I got you. Yeah. Um, tell us a little bit about you, uh, Tim, because uh, I want everybody to kind of get to know everybody. Where are you at now? North Carolina, Indiana, Indiana. That's right. I had a I'm call. A, from I'm, 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 I'm from the children of the corn. Are you? Is that where that's really from, Malachi? <laughs> I have no idea, but it looks good. <laughs> I brought my uh I brought uh one of my favorite 1911s here. It's a STI handmade out of Texas, ivory handle. I call it Capone, black 10 yeah. millimeter. This thing's strong. And look at this. Is that what you said uh, for Christmas? I, I, is this what you want? I, um, I had something nicer picked out, but I mean I, that's fine. You, you know, got something nicer, I'm, I'm down. Well, I mean, I'm going to tell you something, tell you something sick. They had a bottle of champagne when I picked this one up. I got the first one in Georgia. It's called a SIG X6. It almost looks like a Desert Eagle. But it's basically a SIG 220, but with a six-inch barrel. Oh, nice. And when I when I got this, they were like 3300 bucks. But if you go on Gun Broker now, this was one of the first hundred masterpiece ones. Yep. And it's a prototype for 5500 bucks. Look at that thing. Wow. It slides that's a, that's so long, a, that's man. It almost makes it hard to shoot. It's like, ching, 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 you know. But, ain't nothing hard to shoot. Just point and shoot. <clears throat> that's what my cousin said when I got hey, him. Listen, I'm a week. Georgia boy, son. Are you? Listen, Where'd you go? Oh, yeah. Uh, well, I was born in Atlanta, but I, I spent 11 years down in Little Wissy. 
Okay. That right. that's as south as south gets. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Well, I went to school in uh Cochrane, which okay. is just south of Macon. And 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 yeah. honestly, like if you were north of Macon, you were considered a Yankee. Like like I yep. I didn't have any friends in college. That, until, no, I, after, I got a little bit of respect. No, that was what like, you know, Way Cross and you know Way Cross. Yeah, uh, Jessup. I know Hinesville, Jessup. Oh, that area. Yep, I know that area. I almost bought. I almost moved. I almost, two years ago, I almost moved to Jessup. I, I was afraid I wasn't gonna have good internet. Um, no, probably not. <laughs> so, um, so tell me this. So, uh, you were on the marketing cruise. Have you? Have, you've done coaching and stuff, there, right? A bunch. Yeah, a bunch of coaching. But you, you've never really done any like uh, warrior product or any. You know, I don't know nothing like that. Have you ever considered doing that or no? You know, one of the things, brother, I just, you know, I've always been an operator. Like a lot of people, oh, man, you're a good CEO. No. Listen, there's three investments in life, brother. There's time, money, and change, right? And what's the most important? And 90% of people always go to time, but time is math, right? Yeah. You make 100 grand a year, you're making 48 bucks an hour. Okay. And if you want to make 200 grand, then you got to do, you got to stop doing the 48 hour an hour work and do the 96 hour an hour work. Mm. And, what a lot of people, you know, we've talked about this on in just this different sale. I just have a different approach to sales mm -hmm. and, and just referrals than most people do. Mm -hmm. You know, you know, mo in my opinion, you know, and I was talking to Richie about this. Most people are frustrated because we're generally trying to work on something we're not good at. Yeah. Okay. But if your average hourly rate, like if I wanted to be Sid Michaels, I don't need to be Sid Michaels. He's standing next to me. Yeah. Right. It just makes financial sense. So yeah. a lot of this, well, you know, my story, dude, like this is just a hiccup. You know what I mean? I think um I think uh I think people um I think people um come up short on on uh, uh their their value and in sales because they, they start pitching before they got permission to pitch and they're dumb enough to think that they have a lead in or a foot in the door product. Maybe you can use that, but first you gotta get permission to sell before you sell anything. If you don't get permission to sell, you act like you just were driving by. You know, well, and one of the reasons we did, you know. Yeah, that's what, I, you know, I was, you know, doing business with Emerson. One of the things, here's the thing. If you don't understand their why, don't sell them. Yeah. Because here's the thing. Your product or service is just a tool that connects them to their dream. You don't have yeah. to sell them. They'll, they'll want it. Yeah. Yeah. It's funny. Uh, um, uh, a lot of sales guys think that they're always, you know, they, they sell too much. See, I was a closer. So I would go in behind, even when I owned like the super sale company, I owned it. I, I had like the, they, nobody knew I owned it. Because I was the like first manager closer guy or whatever, but that's what I was good at. But uh, every time I would go to uh, talk to somebody, they'd always go, uh, "We've been trying to buy. He just he don't listen. He keeps thinking he's got to sell us on the, the his features in the right. back." Dude, like I can't yeah. stand people that talk at people and not to people. Well, they don't listen. I mean, all you have to listen is, is you know, I'm listening for the problem, the challenges, the issues. Yeah. I, like, listen. Once I listen to those, listen. That's one of the things I told you. You know, we we're talking about. Listen, if Pareto's principle is correct, and I fucked that up too, you don't have to be smart to sell. Yeah. You know, the dumber you are, the more you sell. The difference That's is well, sometimes, yeah. I think the only reason why I'm still around is because I was too dumb to quit. Well, I was too I dumb was to smart. quit. I would have ran and my dignity. Not, right. But I'm not trying to show them how smart I am. What I'm trying yeah. to do is, or what I do is, is intentionally find out what it is they want to achieve in the next three years. And if that product or service gets them there, then I sell them. Yeah, yeah. If it's, if, if that's, if the product or service doesn't, then I refer them to somebody that does because I start my conversations that way. I don't, you know, somebody was listening to me just recently. They're like, dude, so I start all my conversations. Hey, anytime during this phone call, if I don't think you're a good fit or you or you don't think we're a good fit, do you mind if we stop the conversation? And they go, yeah. I said, anytime during this conversation, if I think we are a good fit, do you mind if I take the last five minutes? And if, if I'm not the good fit, do you mind if I refer you to someone that's going to be way better for you than me? And now I'm monetizing, this, I'm monetizing every person I'm talking to. Yeah. Right. Yeah, like, listen, I've it. never seen a Ford truck. I've never seen a Ford tire in a Ford truck. Right. Right. If it's good enough for Fortune 500 companies, why wouldn't it be good enough for us? Yeah. 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 I feel like, you. You feel me? I, feel. Um, I, I, uh, I, I don't do the takeaway, like an obvious takeaway, but like I, I got taught by a guy. I was on the road. I was in Orangeburg, South Carolina, and a, a guy named Dave. God, I, I feel ashamed. I can't remember his name because this guy really changed my sales game. Because when I first got in the car business, you browbeated people in the cars. Mm -hmm. you like, How much money down? Can you put any money down? Then why are you talking about payment? You talk to them like that. I mean, like, literally, yeah. you feel like you're on your face when people are going to hit you. 
But yeah. uh, he, he was like, dude, you got to be Fonzie, not Chachi. I'm well, like, what do you mean? He goes, don't be acting like that. Like, act like, hey, you know, if you want it, cool. If you don't, whatever. It's all good. You know what I mean? Like, hey, listen, there's two people from the cruise, boy. I, you like or like the Soprano brothers to me. It's you and Richie Bello. Richie? It's like, yeah. yo, we'll forget about him. Like, I, this I like is how it, Huh? I like Richie. I've spent hours talking to him. On the I love that guy. I yeah. do, dude, he's just, he's just funny. He's like, yo, whatever. This is just how it works. You know what I mean? <laughs> He saw me hey, trying to drink water, and I was drinking that Italian water. He was sick. That's the only water I drink. You know what I mean? That's that's yep. it. That's it. Forget about it. Don't worry. Don't, listen. Don't bring me nothing else. Brian Anderson's playing the virtual poker game. That's good. That's what we played all day today. Called the stock market. Uh -oh. <laughs> how much you win on the stock market today? No, how much did Brian Anderson win? Oh, nah, he plays every. I think he plays every uh, Tuesday or every Thursday. His poker game. It, it has been since. Since I've known him, oh, tell you, yeah. I'll tell you about Brian. I, you know, I originally ran a super, <laughs> and I, I was traveling all over the country, you know, doing super sales. And then I started a mortgage company because I saw people killing it. And I understood finance really well. That's what I did for Toyota. And so I put a bunch of my buddies. They were all getting fired or quitting the car business. These guys were hammer salesmen. So I, you know, I went and leased an office. I I, I, I mortgaged one dude's house for like a million five and, and made enough money. I paid cash for it two-year lease and you know built it out or whatever and so i had two businesses going on well we got middleman on the on the uh on the commissions on it we still made good money but we got middleman so i said i told the guy that worked for me find the source and the source was brian anderson and his dad he, they owned anderson <laughs> right and, and 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 uh you know like you know how you have your like your hustle i call them hustle buddies right like there's <laughs> people you keep in touch with that you call up and you're like, yo, what are you doing, man? Really? Man, I'm dying over here, man. I got to do this. I got to do that. I owe the state this or whatever. You know, you, you shared ideas or like like new angles with each other, you know, back in the day, right? I want to, That's what I want this show to be, man. Like, I want that, this show to where we can all bring our hustle and talk about like our different hustles, man. You know what I mean? Yeah, like, that's it. Making money. I know right now there's a bunch of people that need to make money. That, they don't want to be driving around everywhere. They're not going to go back to their work. Or even may have got laid off or fired. Like if you got to make money online, it's not easy. I wouldn't say it's easy. We make it look easy, but it's not easy. Oh no, that's right. But here's the thing: I build enough relationship capital. Like I, you know, I know Brian. I know like Ricky right now, dude. They, you know, dude, Ricky's uh, just an animal, dude. So I reached out to him. Like I didn't make up stuff. People were like, what are you gonna do if real estate goes down? Just pivot. Yeah. Pivot. What do you mean you're gonna pivot? I call my buddies that are really good at that shit and tell them to help me. Yeah, pivot to profit. Yeah, pivot to profit, baby. I already stole that shit. Yeah, a uh, relationship capital is strong, man. My my cousin, you know, uh, where I'm, I'm down here with my mom right now, like yeah. my cousin has more relationship capital than anybody I know, and he, he's not a wealthy guy. Like, I mean, he's very cheap too. But dude, relationship capital, like that guy can literally walk up to any house and borrow their lawnmower. <laughs> right. <laughs> you know, take it. We know you'll bring it back. He's got good good. Relationship capital. Well, I think that's, you know, uh, that was one of those things. And again, I've always looked at that. You know, here's a farmer spends their entire life, brother. Think about this. He religiously gets up at 6 a.m. every single day to have one paycheck. And people can't even see past next week. Yeah. Well, there's a lot of there's a lot of content and noise getting thrown at him right now. No, I got yeah, yeah. And I get that. But I'm saying what you <laughs> show today. Like focused. Like it's it's hard to focus. You know, especially you know, you know why you know why it's hard to focus? Why? Because you said it was. Yeah, I agree on that some. But I, I, I'm just saying that it's hard for me to focus sometimes. I, like, I used to feel sorry for Brian, man. He's got kids, like like a bunch of them, like a whole house. Like, you know, are you, a lot of the guys I do affiliate stuff with and stuff, they got yeah. kids and, and a wife. I mean, dude, I couldn't deal with it, man. I, I could barely deal with my little dog, man. Like, I understand. Uh, I guess hence why I'm not married. <laughs> <laughs> So, uh, what's the name of your? Uh, uh, I saw it. It's like a social something you were telling me. Oh, uncensored society. Uncensored society, right? And uh, if if you understand uh, relationship capital, then then that's because you got good old boy in you. Oh, I got a hundred percent good old boy, brother. South Georgia. Listen, if you got any farther south, you're a Yankee because you're about to hit the Florida line. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I'm the same way, man. I'm the first guy, you know, like. When we have like somebody needs something fixed under the truck, I I would be sitting there with Gucci loafers under the truck taking the muffler out, you know. Oh like, that's, yeah, that's you know you got to prove it to me. Like, I, 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 hey, I work like a farmer, dude. Listen, same here. I'm 
I'm up at the crack of dawn and I go to bed when I got to go to bed and I'm just, you know what? You just got to get it done. I like to get up early and, and, and naturally I do, but I tell you what, around, being around these internet marketers, they, they all work at night. Cause you know, that's when you kind of like get their work done. I, I, I thought about writing a book called nine to two. Cause that's really when people get most of their work done. Yeah. Ricky is exactly like that. Yeah. Right. And me, uh, most like, time. I guy that's in, a, uh, in, in, in Thailand that develops some of my stuff and builds out my yeah. meditation. So, I mean, right. He wakes up and he dies, you know? Right. But, I'm up at 4 a.m. It's funny. I'm like, half of these people that are internet marketers or friends that I have that are overseas, like, I'm getting up at four. You know, I get up four, between four and five o'clock, and they're, you know, I'm getting messages. Hell, I get, it's, you always message me. It's always, anytime we're doing it's always, I don't know if you went to bed or you're just getting up half the time. So you never know. I, I, you know, you want to talk about success? I, I, it's not money, how much I made in the market. I'm going to tell you what defines success to me. I haven't had an alarm clock since 2004. I threw it and black socks out in 2004 when I got out of the car business. Never again. Yeah. Yeah. I got you. Hey, I, that's I, just where you got to be relentless, man. That's dude, why, you, listen, that's alarm clocks made me want to fight. Like, I can't stand yeah. them. But, so, if I want to irritate the shit out of you, I just have need to have a really loud that's alarm right. clock set, delivered set early. Your alarm. Set your alarm. Hey, um, so if if you were uh, if you were going to make business right now, if, if you got laid off, what what, what would be what would you do? Or if you had to start over or I mean, just, you know, like immediate cash and fist, you had to make money in seven days. You got starving kids. You know, I literally the referral business, man, what I've learned in the last decade, you know, is literally you can refer business. I mean, there's, I mean, there's speakers, there's all kind of people online have product or services. You know, it just, you know, listen, how many people did you call? I mean, I'm calling people now, Sid, like straight up. And I'm like, they're like, oh my God, I'm not getting any business. And then I just get to math. I'm like, so just curious, how many calls you make? None. <laughs> okay. Um, so if you don't make any phone calls, okay, let me say, okay. Like there's this really expensive tool today, Sid, called Google. Yeah. Oh, no. Right. I there's this really that. expensive tool called, you know, LinkedIn. Yeah. Okay. It just, you know, if you, it just depends. I mean, if you really wanted to make money, there's, I mean, there's, I guarantee, every one of our inboxes is inundated with offers. And if you just pick up the phone and be like, all right, who has the best offer right now? That really does solve a problem. Not no shit, but I'm saying if someone that really has that, you could start today. It just depends. I mean, how many people in your family, how many people are you picking up the phone? You know, that's all sales is, bro. You know that. I mean, we're back yeah. on the floor. That was just, you got to, you just got to pick it up and go. Well, hey, see, because uh, I, you know, did the car business, right? So, right. you know, you, sit, you used to sit there like a duck on the pond and wait until people came and saw you. And so they never really learned prospecting. And I think that's where, I think that's where car guys are strong as death in a lot of areas. But, you know, sitting back waiting on the, uh, on a, on a up is where they've detached and it kills them because most sales jobs, the better you the better you prospect, the easier the sales job is. And see, they, oh, they yeah. don't know how to prospect. Yeah. Well, no, most of them, they hear the word prospect and then it's a label and they go, oh, no, they just never learned to hunt. Yeah. You know, like I just, I, I don't, I don't call a prospect. I just go hunting. Yeah. Right. Like, for example, LinkedIn, Google, like, yeah, listen, like, for example, the car business, right? You're like, okay, how many, you know, here's the thing. There's so much data out there nowadays. Mm. There's, you don't have to make it difficult, mm -hmm. you know? And, and again, that, you know, the way I grew up. So it's like, you know, like this is just a bump in the road. Like people are like, why are you so calm? Dude, if you knew the way I grew up, then it would make it that easy. Like it's just, this is just a hiccup. I'm just reaching out. All I did was reach out to brothers that were way better online than I did. Okay. And I'm like, dude, I need help. And they go done. Dude, I, I, uh, I, I, um, uh, in 08, my, my nut a, a month was 19,000 a month. Right. Uh, my, you know what my nut is right now? 300. Probably bucks. nothing. Yeah. 300 yeah. bucks. And that's Chica's like 30 of that. So I'm not stressed because I don't have debt, but back then, oh, dude, it was miserable, man. It was no, I, 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 I was idiot. But brother, you could, if you wanted to right now, just from the space, I mean, if you listen, people say, I'm not a salesman. Then why do you, refer, like, I guarantee they've referred movies. I guarantee they've referred restaurants. I, they've referred all, they just never got in the middle of anything. Yeah, they never you know, knew how to connect it and get paid with affiliate links and stuff. Right, yeah, that's it. Okay. Listen, I, I don't, there's a lot of times I don't have affiliate links and I still get paid. You just got to get it. I mean, every call, should, if you're going to try to go out and work, 
I mean, there's all kind of people looking for work right now. Uber Eats. I mean, even just simple. I mean, they're, I mean, anything that can be delivered right now, of course, you know, put a mask on, be safe. But I mean, there's so much work out there right now. It's ridiculous. Yeah. But if you're frozen by the fear of the virus, I, and I get that. But, you yeah. know, the only thing you can do, you know, here's the thing. It's not if, it's when. And, you know, yeah. this is just, there's a book uh, called Black Swan. It's not if it happens, it's when. And how layered are you when you do that? You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And it's just, you know, if you, you know, that's why I create Uncensored, because if you're just raw, real, and relentless, and the reason that that I pulled it out was, okay, I'm just, most of the guys I know, like you, Richie, Ricky, you know, Dab and Mike, they're just relentless, dude. They don't, yeah. they don't, they engage, exactly. Nothing happens until you engage. But Everything. If you're, if you're, right, that's it. Okay. Like, before Talk this, I'll be saying, you're like. Closing engage is engagement. Follow-up is engagement. Growth is engagement. Scale is engagement. Everything, Everything. is how are you going to engage? Because that, that's what happens is people disengage. And first, they disengage with their mind, right? And yep. then once you disengage with your mind, then you're, you're, you're on a slope to hell. I mean, you right. just, that's not a good thing. you got to engage. And, and you got to somehow engage with people. Just, just engaging, you know, getting people just to say hello, right? I mean. Well, we're so, we've been so labeled. That's, and again, it's, it's when you're labeled, Oh, the problem is, the challenge is, the issue is. I'm like, that's awesome, but I'm just curious. In my experience, a lot of people coming out of this right now aren't looking at the opportunities. They're just looking at the fear based of being stuck at home. Right. Okay. There's all the people, listen, I don't need to be Ricky. I don't need to be Richie. I don't need to be Sid. Okay. If they're standing right next to me. But I, will you choose to go out? Like, it's funny. I've reached out to people I haven't talked to in a long time. Go, hey, dude, what's up? I mean, it just, I just picked up the phone and called them. Yeah, I, I prefer like, to talk to people too. No, and that's what I'm saying. People are like, and I, I pick up the phone. Like, listen, I, and most people don't realize I'm not an online marketer. Never have been. And yeah. you've never seen anything like that for me. I, I, I've, I've never was really an online marketer either, but I, I mean, I had to become one kind of. But at first I wasn't. I didn't even right. know what a course was. <laughs> no, but you the know, first thing, what's just like you said, you're like, dude, what you got? I'm like, I don't. You're like, I got you. Yeah. Good. Yeah. Like that's your expertise. Like you, you know yeah. what? Okay. And it's not just what to teach; it's what converts, and what will actually yeah. serve people. Right? I mean, you're super well, focused. It, it, I, I remember uh, yeah, uh, we ran into each other at traffic and conversions, and um, uh, I'm trying to stop this scroll thing, man. I can't find it now. Now I clicked it. I can't figure out where it's at. But um, uh, uh we met at traffic conversions and you connected me like three or four different people. So I, I knew exactly what you, you know, I, I, I was, I'm a connector, you know, I mean, I was always a connector too, man, you know, but, uh, so I knew exactly what, what, what you do. You know what I mean? It's oh, just, yeah. uh, you know, and when I say I got you, I mean, I got you because I understood what you do, but also if you ever need any help with that kind of stuff, man, I've, I've went through trial by fire on, on, on learning how to, create memberships and products and stuff like that. Like, no, and that's what I'm saying. A lot See, about is, <laughs> no, and that's what I'm saying. I do need help. That's why I've yeah. been reaching out to my brothers. Cause I do. Here's the thing. I'm heavily in real estate and you know, I've done a lot of uh, consulting and different stuff like that. I just, I always built everybody else's stuff. Never really built my own. You know, I have yeah. a reputation of my own, but that's what I'm saying. Pete, guys, one of the things, if you can take anything away from, from this conference is you need to engage with people other than your family that are going to be the naysayers. You got to engage with people that are going to be part of the, the solution, not the problem. Yeah. And, right. You just have to. Okay. And people are like, dude, you were up to 11 last night. I seen you. Hell yeah. Okay. Yeah. Here's it. I own real estate. Okay. It's one of those things. Listen, if, if this goes on quite a bit longer, I'm not so much worried about the virus. I'm what I'm concerned about is what it's going to create for, for the economy coming up. Yeah, well, because dude, the economy just stopped. It's never done that in history. It slowed yeah, down. It stopped. Right. And now, I mean, you literally you walk into places and the whole strip mall is closed. Like, okay, yeah. what, you know, it's not just affecting the homeowners. It's okay. So it, part of it, it accelerated out, what was going to happen eventually anyway, but yeah. Oh, yeah, exactly. Yeah. But I mean, you're either going to, you know, you're going to be part of the forefront. You know, there was more millionaires that came out of the Great Depression. That was another rough time for a lot of people. Yeah. You know, but here's what's funny. We made it through World War One. We made it through World War Two. We made it through the AIDS epidemic. Like this, all this stuff, every it, this shows two pass. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. And obviously we've been affected in every one of those. But like you said, you know, one of the things, like you said, 
people are like I'm lonely, dude. We have like technology nowadays. If you're lonely, I'm sorry, that's your own excuse. I'll, I'll tell okay, you what, like, if you're lonely, you can borrow my stream yard and you can stream with anybody you want. You can yeah, like your body yeah. right here. Uh, uh, yeah, and, I, just make a, a, I just make a really big deal out of lunch and dinner every day for my mom. Like, yeah, I mean, yeah even if it's a banana sandwich. So, what do you put? Oh, how, do you, how do you like your banana sandwich? How do I like mine? Yeah, peanut butter. You ain't no southern boy. Oh hell yeah! Don't like that, me, boy. Peanut butter, man. Listen, what you live. Hell? You don't even live in the south, bro. You live in Jacksonville. You are a Yankee. <laughs> I grew up. <laughs> I grew you, up you, in are, you are fucking Yankee boy. Yeah, Atlanta's. <laughs> listen, that ain't Georgia. Like right, Georgia boys in Ludowisi tell you that the whole Atlanta area is nothing but Yankees. Dude, I know. I know. That's where they treat me. Right. Listen, when we go fishing, there'd be there'd be damn gators. In the water, they it still get up to their chest out there fishing. I'm like, yep. what? They want to go pig hunting. I'm not a big hunter. I don't like to kill stuff. But I, oh, I, I, all right, I understand how to go pig hunting. Like I was taught, you climb a tree, and as it's goring the tree to try and kill you, you shoot it. Make sure you use a 44 because you need to get through that bone and you know whatever and kill you a pig. Uh, I go, where's the gun? They go, we ain't got a gun. I said, what? I thought we we're going pig hunting. They said, yeah, we got our dogs. <laughs> they literally yep. pig had that sucker, yep. man. Yep. <laughs> I remember yeah. that boy. I had a buddy. Uh, yeah, he was. Uh, his dad was the mayor of the little town right there. Boy, I still remember going out the truck. I work. We go. Uh, you know, the dogs are going out, and I go grab a sound meal meter mag that he's got on. his. He's like, "What are you trying to shoot, man? You ain't gonna shoot that thing in these woods, right?" You know what I mean? I'm like, well, I shot sound meter going... twice, and I got a black eye both times. I even oh, get too close to scope, man. It just, man, it hurt so bad. I hate that, man. It was like. Oh, it made me so mad. Well, that's all right. Is you that, know, they just they just made an AR-15 and a 300 Win Mag. Last I seen years. that. Sick. Yeah. Yeah. So I have another company out. We build custom homes out in Moses Lake, and like, dude. So I'm like, I don't know why, like an idiot, I buy a 300 Win Mag in South Bend. Like they're like <laughs> twice as expensive as they are in a town up there. Like I said. I, uh, I, I started to buy. I was at my gun store uh, that I bought all my stuff, and the guy goes, "Hey, man, do you like a Marlin?" I said, "My my my father's rifle is a Marlin, Marlin thirty five. Yeah, you know, I don't really care about. I don't have a lot of hunt rifles. I got assault rifles and stuff. But um, he goes, "Man, this guy ordered it, and he didn't take it. It's a forty five seventy. And I'm like, I have no clue what he's talking about. Forty five seventy. I called my uh, my best friend. I'm like, dude, have you heard of a forty five seventy? It's beautiful. He's like, is it ported? I said, no. He goes, don't buy it. <laughs> like, you don't want anything to do with that thing. You'll see it one time and be like." I'm out. <laughs> That's funny. Ruthless man. Um. So, uh, uh, if if you um if you have any uh uh if if you have any suggestions for training you'd like to see, um, put it uh, put it in the uh, chat box. Uh, and also if um, I I, I want to try and get some uh, competitive people here. Um, I, I was gonna let anybody. I, I wanted if if anybody wants if anybody would come live. They can be as mean, mad, bad, act like the worst customer they've ever dealt with. They can they can hate me. They can think I'm a fat, big beluga whale and think I suck and I'll close you. There you Lie. go. Yeah. So why do you got to be closed if they're order takers? I'm always closing, brother. <laughs> I was born swimming. <laughs> no, I just uh, show you how I just show you how you can, you know. Obviously, you know, I go by three rules in sales uh that I always say when anytime two people meet a sales made, obviously. Um, when the argument lose a deal, that's the one I see most of the marketers that they don't get it. Right. Um, and, and, uh, you know, they're like, I told that guy, I'm like, dude, you're a chump. You, you didn't get a check, but, uh, uh, and, and then, uh, value over price equals sell. You, you get it one penny over the, uh, over the price. That's it. You're done. You know? And people forget that. Like, I remember I was, uh, test driving a Corvette once and, uh, and, and literally the, the, the salesman sounded like Charlie Brown's teacher. All I could think was, man, I don't know how much this is going to cost me, but I'm buying it. I'm taking this home. Yeah. <laughs> you know? You take it home? Yeah. 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 And I fit. It was a, it was a, C4, a C5, so I, I fit in it a little bit better. But, you know, I had a 348 Ferrari, too. I had a special. They made 100 of yeah, them. No, I'm good, man. I, you couldn't get me in a Ferrari. That's like uh, Ronnie Lambert. He's out uh, hey. at all. I'm, I, I I'm love- not going to lay down on the ground to get in a sports car. Dude, Fuck I- that. I, I loved it, but I love just listening to it because it was like old Ferrari, like Van Halen video yeah. type. Of thing. And I, um, I, I loved it, but I pulled up to a, a grocery That's store. That's how we know you're still a fucking Yankee, right? You're a redneck boy. 
We 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 live and breathe and die by a pickup truck. I got stuck. Hey, um, so I saw my reflection in the uh, the glass of the of the grocery store. I look like Koopa Troopa that damn thing, man. I sold it the next week. I, I thought I could do a red quarter shell at somebody. Or like oh, like shit. great the eight. My knuckles are like dragging. But yeah, no, I Rondy's still to this day. I'm like, I'll drive Rondy's truck before I drive any of that. He's like, dude, I got these cars. I'm like, nah, man, pickup truck. Dude, yeah, I'll I will drive. I will live and die in a pickup truck. Dude, yeah, I, I got an F two fifty. I love man. It's the most comfortable. Yeah. I, I'm a big body guy. I've had I had an S five fifty several times. Um, I I, I'm not. A, I, I didn't fit in the damn thing. That's for damn sure. I was younger than though. I was uh, twenty nine. I remember yeah. I had to just about roll out of a vet. I'm like, like oh, of course that. Dude, I I drove them things. Uh, I drove those things every. Uh, every day. Hey, hey my, brother, I got a recliner on my truck. So I, hey, my my stuff recline drives. I'm good. What, what truck do you have? Uh, I got a Ford F one fifty. Okay, yeah, I got an F two fifty, which I love. Like, you well, can't... so my wife, I'm going to go to the two fifty. I should have when I bit, but I ended up. Um, what was nice about the one I got is it had a huge tow package. But I went down to my wife used to own a uh, like a uh, aftermarket place, so she got Rhino Liner computer yeah. dash, huge money, and, you know, like all like all the uh, the amenities. What I really liked was you know like in my truck, like dude, these. I literally just back up. But what I did is I got my, my suspension on the back of my truck. I got those really big uh, rubber donuts. I don't even know what the fuck you call them, but uh, air I got an extra, air, air, uh, air, like an air suspension. Yeah, but it, they're big rubber blocks. To, instead yeah, yeah. of the little one to four. Oh, yeah. I mean, these are like I went to a suspension shop. You know what I mean? I, you yeah, know, yeah. My F one fifty pull up to the back, and you know what I mean. Yeah, yeah. I, I always, I always level mine, you know, so I can get you know a little bit bigger tires under it. But um, right, the, only, right. the only reason why I don't, I, I don't do that is I like, I like buying the people's uh, brand new tires they take off whenever they go get uh, new tires. Mm -hmm. I, I got a brand new set of Michelin's, four hundred bucks from a guy on Craigslist. Oh yeah, though well, I have my F two fifty. I got a two thousand three. But you know, when you're going through, when you got the dump trailers going through back some of these alleys, I yeah. don't care if it just pisses. But yeah. when I get in my truck, I want to know that thing's got. So he, I got he, my whole. People have no clue how much torque a diesel truck has. Like, oh, it's insanity. My, my, my truck will literally like light the tires up at 55 miles an hour on dry pavement. Just stomp mm -hmm. it. Like when you get on the action ramp, it'll start spinning. It's 855 foot pounds of torque. That's more than an AMG Mercedes. Boys and the and, new, you know, it's boys and their toys, man. That's overbuilt. Right. It's just, hey, like you said, boys and their toys. Got yeah, yeah. I don't even have a bully dog on this one. I got a 2016, but I had a, a 99 Chica. Chill out. Yeah. Um, I had a a, a 99 7.3 that I had for years. I drove it 575,000 miles. I is that your it. hog dog? This is uh, this is my little rodent rat. She makes me feel lazy, man. This one's relentless. <coughs> little cute thing. I've, never, I've never had a small dog in my life, and I tell you what, man, they make you mushy. Look at her loving on me. Mm -hmm. She's sweet. You know, I made her some, uh, well, it's not here. I should have showed you. I made her a custom Cuban link, uh, dog collar. It's pimp. I want, I want to start selling them on the Amazon. I think that'd be super cool. I'll always be clothing. That's right. That's right. All right. Well, cool, man. Um, uh, anybody, uh, just put a comment in the, uh, in the box. If you, if, if there's anything you want to see, or if there's anything that, uh, you've uh, heard me do before that, uh, that you, uh, had a question about or, uh, really, just just trying to get out and uh, and talk to everybody, man, and uh, yep. and see them. We'll have um, I've got a lot of people uh, organized to to be showing up, and uh, we're gonna have a lot of fun. Um, I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna do some giveaway stuff next time. I started to do a giveaway uh, this time, but I got some hats, brand new hats I bought, really nice hats, and uh, um, they won't fit my my pitbull head. No. <laughs> I don't know what they're called, but they're, they're actually snapback hats, and they were like four or five hundred bucks a piece. They're leather. They're sick. I'll show you. I'll get to a couple of them also. <laughs> so, so, what are you out. doing to profit? What are you doing to pivot in your business, brother? Well, so um, you know, I did. I do. I did a lot of local services when I was up in Tennessee, as uh, when I was working with the radio station or whatever. And um, and it, I've done direct mail for years mm -hmm. for dealerships, but right now I'm creating. Um, I'm creating a, uh, like a salesman website with follow-up, uh, cause none of the salesmen are doing it. And, and the automotive right. industry, uh, all went and spent tons of money hiring all these new departments called a BDC business development center, where they have, uh, you know, these $8 an hour employees that are supposed to do all the phone up, phone calls, appointment setting and all that stuff. 
which is great. But you know what? Like, like I, I think it's funny, man. Like when, when, you know, even, even when you go talk to like a GM and all of a sudden he's, you know, he's an advertising guru, you know what I mean? Like, dude, stay focused on selling cars. I know that's a full-time job. I've been a GM. Right. Right. Let me worry about being the, the, the advertising guy or, or, you know, and, and, and now you got to manage a bunch of women, you know, eight bucks an hour and, and teach them sales because your salespeople couldn't do it. It was a mistake. Right. right. So I've got automated follow up where it'll do RVMs, uh, email, mm-hmm. tech. And, 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 you know, people are like, oh, you can never replace a human. And you know what? You're right. But you know what my uh, bots can do that your human can't? Never have a bad day. Never be sick <laughs> and call every time. And if you, you, know, if you just do proper follow up, I mean, if you were the worst salesman in the world and you did your proper, you know, five to seven follow ups, it put you in the top 12 percent of the salespeople just just out of pure numbers. I mean, Grant Cardone's first course he sold was the ultimate sales secret. Like it was some holy grail. You know what it was? Follow up. <laughs> right. Did you see where well, you, I, know, it, you know, it's funny. Here's what's funny. It's, you know, people will date for what they want. Right. They'll religiously follow up, like follow up, follow up, follow up, follow up. OK. For a woman. Right. Or vice versa. But the difference is when it comes to adding money into their kids' bank account or themselves, they're like, yeah, you never hear about it. It's like, it's like, hey, I got this great thing. Nothing. Yeah, well, you know what? You know what it is, man, is that people just get complacent. Yeah, and then, exactly. they, then they get intimidated and their mind shift changes and, and they get more worried about what people are going to say about them or, or they get they get more because you know, they've been pointing out other people and Ooh, look at him. Look at him trying. Oh, look at Grant Cardone finally going bankrupt, man. What a scumbag. You know, they're over there hating so much that now they're afraid to go public because they, they know that they hated on everybody else so much. They're afraid to get called out by their buddy. Right. You know what I'm saying? 100%. Yeah, and, 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 and that, that, that's probably, the, the, probably the same people that were doing it were actually at his event. Yeah, oh, yeah. <laughs> they're, they're just they're just envious and, and afraid to, to to step out there. You remember that TV show where they they like threatened to like it was like Truth or Dare, and and like they would yeah. either make you come yeah. clean about something or you had to do eat you know whatever. Mm-hmm. Dude, I would win that game because there ain't shit. I mean, I'm I mean, there's stuff I'd be embarrassed about, you know, but there ain't nothing I wouldn't talk about. Like I mean, no, bro, they, I, 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 I don't hide. Hey, I'll, nothing. I'll be straight up. No, you talking about engaging? Like I reached out literally when this thing went on. Okay, I was proactive. Okay, listen, do I have savings? Do I have you know? Do I own a lot of stuff? Yeah, but I literally went on so that I could turn my reputation. I could do learn, take it from offline where we are to doing some stuff online. Listen, yeah. if I wasn't open and just straight, like fuck it, like dude. I'm not going to let my ego not feed my guys. Fuck that. Yeah. Like, it's not going to yeah. happen. Right. Yeah. I had to reach out to guys that are way more badass and shit than I am. Right. right. And you just got to be straight. I, I wasn't giving them the, the 80 minute version of it. I'm like, dude, I need. Your, 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 uh, your phone yeah. die. Did you buy some more minutes? You had to go to the grocery store and get some more minutes. So you could text. You there? Yo, you there? Ooh. Can you hear me? There you are. Yep. Can you I'm listening to you. Yeah, you were talking. Can you hear me? I can hear you. No, you're off. On I, I'm looking on. Uh, yeah, there you go. You're back. Hmm. Yeah, you're good. You're, you're you're showing actually on. Uh, you're not showing on. Uh, you're showing on on uh, Facebook. I'm looking at it on the left monitor here. Monitor number three. Your, your audio is off. You got muted somehow. Hang on. You muted yourself. Hang on. You got to unmute your mic, Tim. Uh, can't unmute the guest because they chose there to mute themselves. There you go. You're back now? Chica scared you. Chica scared you a little bit. No, I think I, I, I think you look like this on the camera. That's right. You know, I dropped my phone. Sorry about that, bro. You know, I, I like, don't know if that's hey, you know Springfield 911. A Yankee just showed up. Yeah, I ain't no Yankee man. <laughs> I, you know what? I, I I grew up with some friends that were you know northern Yankee kind of guys, and I I kind of liked them because they. You know what I liked about them? Because they kind of, you knew where you stood right off the bat. Like, they didn't right. southern belly at all. 
Yeah. No, they don't. My family's got creativity. They could be. They could. Be, you could be about to be like taken to the wolves, and you wouldn't know because they're just gonna smile. No, no. Tell you the fun. Yeah. She. Yeah, that's nervous. I don't like that. Well, no, but one of the things, even right now, brother, like, listen, I'm telling people all the time, listen, if any, you know, if there's any referrals I have, anything that I can do that's going to put food or serve somebody, like, I'm down. Yeah. That's exactly what I did. I'm, I'm just being straight up. Like, I, it, here's the thing. I could wait six months. You know what I mean? Yeah. No, dude. Like, I already know. If this, like you said, I don't know what tomorrow brings. I can only, you know, all I can do is reach out to my brothers at this time. Here's the thing. Let's just say it doesn't happen. Now I just build another vertical. Yeah. Right. And, um, like, have you have you been in my preppers group? You been doing anything in there? Posted any? Yeah, I posted that one thing, and I posted some. Uh, uh, I posted. I I finally got my wood barn in there, so I posted that. Did you? Good. Yeah. If 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 if, if you actually, um, I, I, I built those with another uh, guy back in uh, 2012, 2013. Uh, Don Wilson uh, told Brian about it. Brian told me. Uh, and, and said it, but I, I had one, I had one that, uh, at the time, uh, was called, uh, happy, happy, happy. It was like a duck dynasty fan page. Oh, and wow. you know, we want to tie the heck out of it. Um, but back then I couldn't get affiliate links to everything. Like I had one guy, I sold, I sold 11 sets of his, uh, real tree camouflage furniture. And, uh, uh -huh, they, they, that'd be awesome. Yeah, it was cool. But we made, uh, these little hand bracelets, you know, those little bracelets you can get for like, mm -hmm. uh, you get 200 of them for 66 bucks. We yeah. we made those in camouflage and put happy, happy, happy on it. And we sold them for 99 cent plus 4.95 shipping. Right. And yeah, yeah. Uh, we sold like $400 a day with them. And I figured out how to take them with cellophane and, and wrap them where they would fit through the Merlin, you know, as it sorts the mail. So we, right. we could, we could actually ship them for the price of a stamp. We made, we did good money with them. Oh, but, wow. uh, yeah, There's always a hustle, man. Let's guys. One of the things you can take away from the show, like, Listen, you just got to get on some of these shows because some of the side hustles, that, you know, I got a lot of brothers that got some of the most craziest side hustles you ever think about. I mean, a lot of that, like uh, I was talking to Ricky early and you know him, like, yeah. like there's never been more like T-shirt mugs, like just craziness being sold right now. Yeah. Than you ever think. Yeah. It's like insane. Like the side hustles that you can create. It's just, you know, if, if you if you're not making money, it's because you don't want to. Yeah. Do you, uh, you want to know uh, one of the most, well, other than flipping cars, flipping cars was sick. I mean, I mean, I, I ran 3,500 a copy. I did 140 of them in 10 months. Wow. Yeah. And, and the same car, Forerunner, every time. But um, they, uh, um, I'll tell you one of the really cool, easy, simple. And uh, if, if I was like married and my wife wanted to, you know, get out or something and wanted to make a little bit of money, I would put her on this. Um, we, we started going to, uh, Goodwills and buying the Ralph Lauren polo, you know, just the, yeah. you know, the traditional polo, long as it didn't have a country club on it, you know, it had to be clean or whatever. Right. And, um, we would, we would post it on eBay in Europe and eBay in the United States on a seven day auction. And I, I, day three, whichever one was highest, we'd kill the other one. So you didn't pay any fees and then let the other one ride out. And man, I mean, if somebody just bought it for a penny, the, uh, the shipping we charged was already double the cost and the, and the shipping cost. So oh, yeah. uh, anything they bid over a penny was pure profit. We averaged about $25 a shirt profit. Yeah. This we, is we, we 300 a day doing that for a while. Oh, wow. You know, where yeah. are you getting the supply from? Just from Goodwills? Dude, we, like, yeah. And, and just uh, friends that had, you know, we, we just got the word around asking, but uh, eventually we got to the point where we had to ride like three hours to go find uh, 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 Ralph Lauren shirts. That's, that's really why we stopped. Oh, got it. Okay. Yeah. And at the time, there was nobody in the Goodwill really hunting. Now you see people scanning and stuff. So, I mean, if you went in there, you'd uh, like nothing like super fancy, but we'd find like Versace khaki pants, but they were Versace, like just got stuck in there somehow. And, uh, you know, you'd make a hell, of, I mean, you pay $2.95 for them. So, I mean, you'd make a hell of a come up. I mean, we could write, you know, good copy because we're car sales guys, you know. Listen, I, you know, Barbara Droska, you know her? Mm, sounds familiar, but. No, no. Yeah, off the top. she does. Well, she does a little bit of info product, but man, she if there's anybody that can hustle that side hustle you're talking about, it's her. Yeah. Like it's just straight up. Yeah. She just she just has a way, man. She'll go to this and find the craziest stuff, you know, auctions, you know, goodwill, whatever. Yeah, yeah. And dude, she's just religious, man. She just hammers on it down. Yeah. You know what I mean? It's just yeah, it's crazy. But there's that side I, hustle. I, I did some uh stuff where I bought uh return pallets um of of goods. 
And I, dude, made, I, made, I made great money doing it. And honestly, it was the most fun I ever had. Cause I mean, I, I like, you know, being a little bit physical and getting out or whatever, but yeah. I did a, I did a system where, you know, some of you could put on Amazon. Like I got 120 Arizona jean bikinis for uh, 720 of them for 150 bucks. They're $38 retail, put them on Amazon. It's money in the bank. But right. um, uh, a lot of stuff, like I got two pool pumps and a, a, a tankless hot water heater. Guess what I did with those? Same. No, I returned them to Home Depot. Got it. <laughs> <Refund them. laughs> that's what they were. They were returned. But um, and then uh, uh, but I would take like a tr my truck and my trailer full, like where I couldn't pack anything else on it, to uh, uh, to like the flea market on Saturday. I'd be home by eleven o'clock, sold out, straight up. Yeah. Like from from of six a.m. to eight a.m. I would you know go full retail from eight a.m. to ten p.m. I would like talk to every person that went by. And then it, after 10 o'clock, my goal was to not have to put, pick something up physical and put it in my truck. And I never did. Right. Yeah, yeah. You just, you, hey, you run us brother. Yeah. I, I mean, I averaged probably 3000 a week, you know, but, um, I mean, you know, whatever you got to store it and stuff, but, uh, don't buy the tarps. I bought the 10 foot little pop-up tents. Every dang one of them was truly broken. It sucked. Oh, wow. Well, yeah. You just, you still sourcing some of that now or no? Um, I haven't done it in a while, but I will. Cause I mean, I, I love flipping stuff like right now, car flipping is, is in, I mean, it's, you know, tax right. time. Similar check no, but time. I'm trying to think for some of your people, like what's a, what's a, what's a couple resources that you use when you were flipping that people on here could use? Um, well, you got to find the auctions and, and honestly, I wouldn't buy the pallets anymore. I'd probably buy the whole truckload cause they're about 2,200 bucks. I, I spent six, 7,000 on eight or nine pallets when I did it. But, um, Speaking of that, that you want to you want to know the the coolest business out there, straight What's up, pallets. Flip, flipping pallets. Dude, and they got a thousand them. times more demand than than even uh, iPhones. Think about it. Everything that you lay your eyes on has lived or been on a pallet at one time, and everybody is either trying to get rid of them or they need more of them. It's right. a hugely liquid. Uh, it's a it's a uh, very. Uh, uh, high liquid business. And what's cool is it's kind of green because you're, you're, some people will pay you to haul them off. And then you turn yeah. around and, and you know, if you, you sell them, like I, I saw a guy did 300 in the group the other day. Uh, he sold 300 pallets at six bucks a piece, pure profit. So $1,800 right. for one, one truckload. That's it. There you go. That's yeah. it. Yeah. And I got the trailers. I just saw my guys out. What well, uh, uh, the guy, uh, my buddy who started doing it, and you just rent what you set your 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 deliveries up on one day, you rent a rider's truck for that one day. That's how you do it. But oh no, I got yeah, let me see, let me see if you can see. I got there's all the trailers. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I think I got yeah, I, between the dump trailers and everything else, I think I'll. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, I, uh, I, I've got a car hauler in, 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 in uh, you know, my truck, but, um, yeah. I, I would, you know, <laughs> anyways, but, um, uh, you know, you know what, you know what else is a lot like the uh, pallet business, and a lot of people don't know it, and they're getting really popular now. Um, you know, dealerships throw out tires in the back all the time, and they're constantly mm -hmm. having to pay people to haul them off. You go pick up those yeah. tires, go to one of those used cars, tire stores, they'll pay you eight bucks a tire. Mm -hmm. How many tires could you put on a trailer? You know what I mean? That's that's cash and go. Yeah. I would be doing that or I'd be working at uh, McDonald's or working at a gas station where somebody come in and rob me and kill me. You yeah. know what I mean? Oh, dude, uh, it's just, yeah, exactly. There's just, that's what I'm saying. Just side hustles, man. What's, what, you know, what side hustles? And a lot of people, you know, in my opinion, if this thing keeps going, there are a lot of people going to be, have to learn side hustles. Yeah. I'm going to re, I'm going to re-release my uh, car flipping uh, course. I show people how to do it with no bankroll. You don't even need money. I, I mean, straight up. I mean, I, dude, I mastered it. I mean, think about it. I did 140 cars. I averaged 3,500 a copy. Do the math. How much is that? That's about three point four dollars tax, tax yeah. free. Yeah. Yeah. 100. Yeah. yeah just I, side I, hustles, I, man. I was, like those counter things. I had one for my car. I'd count it whenever they paid me. One for home when I had to get my bankroll up. That's it. That's oh. how you do and get it done, man. I love it. We literally sat there and complained about counting cash, and it was right right after 09. I'm like, dude, we're such jerks, man. Like just a year ago, we couldn't even order a, buy a burrito. We were so broke. Now we're sitting <laughs> complaining about having you know, our carpal tunnel from counting cash. <laughs> but there's no more of that. Yeah. That all right, man. Been all your girlfriends at the time. Yeah. Well, yeah, we were wild, man. Um, I, I yes, I, I don't want to go into it. I, I did a management contract and 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 basically owned a, a strip club for a year and a half, and it was uh, it was crazy. But anyways, I got too much of a heart to deal with that, man. Those people are uh. 
they're uh they're predators man but um all right cool man well hey thank you so much for spending some time with me hey if anybody uh uh needs help on anything uh put it in the suggestion box i'd love to uh you know have a chance to to possibly uh answer it or or even um uh you know uh you know, help out or whatnot, uh, or I'll, I'll build the training and next week, next Thursday, I'll, uh, I'll definitely, uh, do it for you. All right. I, I promise you there's not too many things, uh, mistakes and, or, um, uh, things that I haven't done, uh, once or twice. Definitely. If they're a mistake, I've done them twice. I, I've stepped in the, in the trap twice, at least minimum. And if I can serve anybody, just go to unsuccessful, uncensor society you know, connect with me on Facebook, whatever, dude. I'm, I'm always here to help, man. Yeah, that's cool, man. Tim, thank you so much for uh, spending an hour with me, man. And I appreciate you, buddy. Give me a yeah. shout. I want to show you that uh, stuff I'm doing with options, man. It's sick. And it's easy right no, now. No. I just say it's easy because you can't say that. It's not. But it is. But it's not. But it, you got a lot of opportunity right now. It's very volatile. All right. Sounds good, brother. Love All you. Right. I appreciate it. Love you, man. Yeah. Yeah.